over the years, um, thinking back, what was the biggest surprise you came to in, in uh, one of your projects, one of, the, one of your findings? Well, one of the biggest, I mean, I get, the, I, I get asked that often, and uh, I, I'm not in the kind of field where um, there are a lot of big surprises, but I really started out being very convinced that the most important motivational um, uh, dynamic was whether you had confidence in succeeding, that it was about what we call efficacy, our ability to believe in ourselves to accomplish our goals. And, and, and it was my daughter that taught me this, and then I started looking at my data, and my data was absolutely consistent with what she said. She came home with a bad grade, and I said, how could you let yourself get a bad grade? And she said, well, other kids get bad grades. And I go, well, I don't care what other kids get. How could you let yourself come home with a bad grade? Well, I'd have to work harder in order to get a better grade. And I said, yeah. So why, clearly it wasn't lack of confidence. I mean, she, and I, she said, I said, why aren't you working harder? And she said to me, do you want me to waste my childhood doing schoolwork? And it was like, oh my God, I've been wasting my whole life doing schoolwork. You know, and, and, and it was this sort of sense of, it really is about these values. It really is about uh, the, that most of us are not suffering from lack of confidence. Some are, and that clearly needs to be treated, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is, is uh, not wanting to do things that you think are useless. Uh, and wanting to do things that are in your, that are in your own priority space. And how do we make our children and our students um, understand that what they're doing in classrooms is in their own interest. Um, now, it isn't in everyone's interest, I understand that, but how can we structure um, educational settings um, such that these values are allowed to come to the fore and, and be made use of in trying to get students engaged in academic work? So that was my biggest, my, probably my biggest surprise, and, and, and as a consequence, I'm quite surprised that now we're talking a lot about mindset again, and about seeing the brain as growing, because that's important, but I don't think that's the main reason why kids are not doing well in school. Um, I think, you know, if, if for, the, for those few for whom that's an issue, then that's important. But for most of the kids, it's, it's that they don't see any reason to do this. I mean, they, they just feel like they're being coerced and they don't see why they should do this, why they should cooperate um, in this and what they're being asked to do.